Hi, I'm Rebecca and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to be recommending you some underrated books. I just joined a group on Goodreads called Monthly Recommendations and the August recommendations is underrated books. So books that you don't feel have gotten enough hype or is talked about enough or hasn't been read by a lot of people. This group was created by Kayla from Kayla Rain and Trina from Between Chapters. I'll leave their links and also the link to the Goodreads group down below if you want to join. And as I said before, this month's topic is underrated books. The first one I'm going to start out with is this one. A new name, Grace and Healing for Anorexia by Emma Scrivener. Scrivener. I don't know how to pronounce that. Scrivener? Scrivener? Something like that. I read this in August and I feel like this is a very important book. I absolutely loved it. It's kind of a tough book to get through because she describes how her anorexia started and how it was like and in some ways it's very graphic because she describes how thin she got and how it felt and stuff like that but I really really loved it because I think that this is an important book because it's written from the point of view of the person who has anorexia and not from her surroundings but she also describes how she thinks that her surroundings dealt with it and how they reacted and I just think that it's very very good. I've never read a book like this before. It's kind of like a memoir but I really really enjoyed it and I really recommend that you read it because it gives a whole new view on anorexia and eating disorders altogether. The next one I have is a children's book and it's Nightmares by Jason Siegel and Kirsten Miller and this is just a dust jacket because a friend of mine is borrowing the book and I really really loved this one. It says go to sleep if you dare and it's about Charlie who moves with his father and his younger brother into the purple mansion because his father is marrying this new woman and Charlie is convinced that his new stepmother is a witch and he starts having these terrible nightmares and one day he finds out that they come true. That he can step into the world of dreams and then the nightmare just gets worse and worse and I really really enjoyed it. It doesn't sound like a fun read but it actually was and I can't wait to read the next book because it's coming out soon and I just think that a lot of people should read this. It was kind of a cover buy for me and kind of like it's Jason Siegel who wrote it, the guy from How I Met Your Mother and yeah but I really really enjoyed it and I would really recommend you read it. It's a very quick and fun read so yeah read it. The last one I'm going to recommend you is actually the first book in a series and I'm not gonna pull them out because they're down here at the bottom and it's the PC Grant series, I believe it's called, by Ben Aronovich. And the first one is called Rivers of London. The second one is Moon Over Soho. Third is Whispers Underground. The fourth is Broken Homes. And I don't remember what the fifth book is called because I haven't read it yet. But I absolutely love this series and I don't feel like it's getting enough hype. It's about this new police officer called Peter Grant. And while he's on patrol one of his first nights, he sees something really weird and he's like what is going on and he finds out that magic actually exists and this old old police officer called Nightingale kind of takes him under his wing and is going to teach him how to do magic so he's kind of like this police officer who investigates magical crimes and I just love it so much I really think that it's a really cool concept and it does say on the book that it's kind of like Harry Potter grown up and becoming a cop but it's not uh, it's not like Harry Potter at all because the whole magic system is very different from Harry Potter but I really enjoyed it and I think that you should read it. So those were my recommendations for this month's topic and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.